Let's go over a punch set today and why it is the way that it is. Um, I was recently at the blacksmith gathering in uh, Pennsylvania and really got a chance to dig in depth on this punch set and demonstrate it for um, an audience uh, on a lot of different material, including some 3 inch 4140 and some 2 inch 1045. Um, one of the things that I noticed um, that was really helpful with this specific die set is on the end here, if you can see that, there's a little node. And when this die set comes together, that node is the first thing to touch. See that? So the, f the very first thing that I do with this die set when I set it up is I put the blank die set in and I press them together. And that little node on the bottom then makes a divot in that bottom, just a really small little divot on the bottom plate here. And what happens is when I go and I punch my three quarters of the way through, it displaces a little bit of the, this billet into that little divot, okay? So that when I come back out and flip my stock, um, drew my picture too big, I then have that little displaced piece of material which perfectly lines up with the divot on my punch, with the little, the little node on the end of that punch. And that helps to make sure that I am perfectly centered in both directions without having, you know, uh, set screws or hard blocks in place to align my, my block. That can be really helpful in a production setting when you're doing the same size material over and over and over again but it does not allow you to have a super versatile punch setup because you've got to make all these adjustments every time you go to punch another hole. Um, so this is a great easy way to align your die sets. All you need to do, if you've already used your punch set, take a little angle grinder in here. You can see this one, I've had a lot of punches through. Um, you can put a little weld there, grind it flat, put this die set in your press and then just let it bottom out. Now, if your punch has been used a lot, like this one has, and you see this, this bronzy coating, uh, that's from punching aluminum bronze. It deposited itself on the surface and it's actually pretty, pretty rough. I want to grind that off before I use this for another material. But um, what you'll see here, if it'll focus, if it'll focus, as long as you keep this punch cool, and we use, uh, we use Fuchs lube between every single punch, so it goes into the can, comes out, punch your hole, goes back into the can. That helps keep this really sharp bottom edge cool. And this one's probably punched about 50, 60 holes at this point. You're starting to see some deformation on that corner, but it's really easy truck going by it's really easy for me to go to uh, the uh, bench grinder and just knock that little rolled edge off and get it right back to a nice sharp corner that sharp corner helps ensure that the punch shears the slug off the walls cleanly um, which is another another way that this this punch setup really helps to make up a, a hole every single time the other thing about this is you'll notice that little node, that little nodules, just about worn off. So what I like to do is I'll take this to the this belt grinder, I'll grind that off the the corner, and then I'll put this, you know, right on the edge of that belt and spin it, and kind of use this little, the little shoulder there of what's left of that nodule just to help redefine it because it is really helpful for setup on punch, uh, setup on punching. Um, so those are a couple tips on this little punch setup. If you have any questions, reach out to us, info at Coal Ironworks, or shoot us a message. Thank you.